guys, it is TKO Smokey, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Max HUD widget. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Uh, a lot of people hitting me up on Discord and Instagram, and they're like, Smokey, how do you get the track map on there? How do you get the speedometer on there? And the answer is, you got to have the Max HUD display. And um, this is a little bit different. Uh, than just installing a regular mod. There's a little bit different process. And um, uh, I'm just going to make this video and show you guys real quick. Um, if you've been finding these videos uh, helpful, uh, go ahead and smash that like button for me and consider subscribing. It, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, a channel we, we just hit 600 uh, subscribers on the YouTube channel, so I'm super pumped about that. Uh, thank you guys who've been supporting me. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Only 400 to go, so we're getting really close. Um, also, I just dropped some new merch. Uh, if you go down in the description, uh, you can see the TKOSmokey.store. Um, support your fellow Moto Gamer. I have the Moto Gamer apparel. We got mugs, shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to check that out. But on that note, let's get into the video. So before you install the Max HUD display, you need to know where to find it. So now we have this pulled up. You're going to want to go to the mxb-mods.com website. And at the very top, you'll see it says links. You're going to click on forum. You'll find it in the forum. You're going to scroll down where it says plugins. You're going to click on that. And at the very top, it's going to say Max HUD plugin. We're going to click this. And right here, you'll see the download link. And this uh, Max HUD display widget uh, is for multiple games. So it just so happens to be for some car racing games and a few other things, along with MX bikes. So we'll get into that just a little bit later, just so you're not too confused. But we're going to hit download. A link's going to pop up, and you're going to download the Max HUD zip. Go double click that. So there we go. So we got that going. And before, whoops, sorry about that. Before we get going, let's go ahead and open this up, downloads. And we're just going to open this zip real quick. Going to double click on the Max HUD. And uh, if you want to, um, they have a PDF that you can read, and when you click on here, it gives you the actual instructions on how to install uh, this plugin into MX bikes and uh, for the GP bikes and a few other things. And then down here, you have the description, and this is actually what the Max HUD display has um, once you have it installed. So it has the helmet. Um, it actually gives you this cool... Uh, perspective like you're actually wearing your motocross helmet timing um, live gap bar so at the top um, you'll see you know how far away you are from your fastest lap time standings um, it even has your fuel and a lot of people like the the track map they got that down here and a lot of cool other little features but you can scroll down and it tells you just um, a little bit about each little widget but we're not going to get into that. Um, you can read that on your own time. Uh, we're going to close out of this. And what we're going to do is, so this is just a little bit different than your uh, normal uh, mod installation. And um, if, you, if you're here and you want to learn uh, how to just install regular um, uh, mods into the MX Bikes games, I have a video for that as well. And I'll link that up top. We're going to go down here to Windows C. We're going to click Program Files 86. We're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, MX Bikes. And then once you click on MX Bikes, you have it up there. You'll see this little Plugins folder. You're going to double click that. And uh, on your screen, you might not see this in there. 
I, I have a few other little things uh, installed in MX bikes for the Arial series. So that's just for that. So you might not have that once you open your plugins file and that is okay. So don't be confused. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull the Max HUD folder over to this right here. And then the rest of this, you'll see this is WRS64, MXB64, KRP, and GB64. You want to obviously pull the MXB64.DLO file over. So we're going to drop that over here. And voila, that simple. So we're going to X out of here. And just so you're not too confused, you can't access the Max HUD until you're actually in game, uh, in the game. So we're just going to open this up really quickly so you can see what's going on and see how to um, customize your, your HUD. So we are now into the MX Bikes home screen and we're just gonna go to testing. It doesn't matter what track you're, you're on when you do this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick. It's pretty easy and uh, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know in the comments also um, if there are any other kind of tutorial videos you'd like to see in MX Bikes or any of the other uh, motocross games and I'd be, be happy to help you guys out. So we're in the game now. And like I said, you have to be on the track to activate the, the HUD uh, widget. So we're gonna go right here and you see, you'll see uh, your little rider stand up down here. You're, you're shifting, all that kind of stuff. So in order to activate the, um, the, the HUD widget, you have to press caps lock on your keyboard and this right here is going to be the screen and you can move this anywhere you want by just right clicking on your mouse or holding shift and just hovering over it so either one so a lot of the riders and a lot of the people playing this game they want to see the track map and just like this you can either hold shift or right click your mouse and move it anywhere on the screen that you want you can also uh, double click the map and right up here you can rotate, you can change the size. And you can do that with any of the widgets. You got uh, your speedometer down here. And you can adjust it as well um, to kilometers or miles per hour. You can adjust the size. Maybe put that down there. That would be cool. Uh, timing maybe even put that just right above it also standings a lot of people want to see that maybe keep that up there and then to get out of it all you do is hit caps lock and uh, in order to move the widgets around, you have to open up the screen again by pressing caps lock and then you can right click or hold shift and move this anywhere you want. Some people want something a little bit more, um, you know, sleek and they just want to see the, the timing up there and, and that's cool as well. So we just do that. Okay, your timing is scoring. So that is how you install the Max HUD display. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and until the next video guys have a good day